Hey Bucks, I know it seems like forever, but we're actually nearing the halfway mark of the spring semester. And like you, we're all looking forward to uh, the great things that are about to happen the, the rest of the semester. Uh, warmer weather, more sweet, sweet 16 events, beach days and sun rays and all kind of other great stuff. We're also approaching one year since COVID-19 became a part of our vocabulary. And like you, I'm really beginning to not like it so much. Looking back a year ago, it was hard to foresee what the pandemic would require of us. Who knew that masks, social distancing, temperature checks, nasal swab tests, and quarantine would be a daily part of our lives? At this point, we've all known someone who has had COVID-19, maybe even had it yourself. Some of us, unfortunately, have lost someone to COVID-19. We've also missed out on a normal life. Games canceled, seasons delayed, events postponed. Life as we knew it stopped suddenly last spring and gave way to a lot of unknowns. We heard the terms unprecedented and new normal. We had new rules on campus, new guidelines for traveling or going to a restaurant or to the grocery store. There's been a lot of new. We've used apps to order food, sanitized our hands until they crack, and prayed for the pandemic to end. We battled anxiety and loneliness, delivered the gospel online, served and isolated at a distance, and we've learned what it means to be resilient and grow with grit. During this pandemic, we've spent a lot more time with some, barely any time with others. Our healthcare systems have been overloaded, medical professionals overwhelmed physically, mentally, and emotionally. While our schools and churches have worked hard to create safe spaces to continue learning and growing through it all. It's up to us to protect the most vulnerable on campus and off. Loving your neighbor means acting unselfishly. Hey, we've all been in this together from the start, so thanks so much for coming along for the ride. Let's not let uh, the extended time change how we respond. Our continued resolve in wearing masks and physical distancing each day helps safeguard our campus and our loved ones. So don't grow weary. Our collective dedication will help ensure that we can reach the light at the end of this uh, pandemic tunnel. We're almost there. Let's stay buck safe together. Go Bucks. Now, on my bucket list uh, is, is a mask burning party. Uh, I am looking forward to the day uh, when, um, you know, maybe this happens uh, right before our first football game uh, next semester. I'm looking forward to the day when all of us gather around a big barrel. Uh, maybe the fire marshal comes to join us. Uh, and on my bucket list, I'm going to uh, take my mask and you can throw it in there as well. And I look forward to being the one to light the match. We're almost there, brothers and sisters. Let's stay buck safe together. Go Bucks. What?